In this video I'm going to try and recreate the historic funeral train of Sir Winston Churchill, the wartime Prime Minister of Great Britain that helped carry his people to victory, became synonymous with the Bulldog spirit and V for victory and for taking tough decisions. He may not have been a perfect man, but he was undoubtedly the perfect man for the job of driving back the Nazi threat and along with many other heroes bringing the world to safety. I'll be using the Hornby R3300 limited edition train pack that I reviewed last year, but I'll be adding other Pullman coaches to bring the train up to the right length and formation. Of course it is you the viewer that will need to use imagination to see my layout as the busy Waterloo station in London. As far as possible from research done I have attempted to recreate the route and possible trains that the solemn service might have passed on its journey to Hamborough in Oxfordshire. Churchill died on the 24th of January 1965, aged 90. On the 30th of January 1965 he was given a state funeral as befitting a man of his importance and in recognition of his service to his country. His body was conveyed by train from Waterloo Station. Bullied Battle of Britain class number 34051 had been named Winston Churchill by Lord Dowding in September 1947. So this loco was sent from its home shed of Salisbury to Nine Elms in London the week before the funeral to be made ready for the special train. The train was formed of 34051, Pullman Brake Car 208, the special luggage van S24. 64, Pullman Car Carina, Lydia and Perseus, and Brake Car Isla Thanet. At about 11.40 that morning, the empty train was moved from Clapham Junction sidings to Waterloo, with a standard Class 4 tank locomotive on each end of the train. Three four zero five one was driven by a Nine Elms crew, Royal Train Driver A W Hurley and Fireman Jim Lester. The locomotive famously carried a three-disc head code representing V for victory. The loco made its way from the depot to the loco sidings, and then to Waterloo, where it backed onto the train.
departing Waterloo at 1.28pm, the train travelled respectfully slowly to Reading, where it joined the Western Region Line to reach Hanborough via Didcot and Oxford, arriving at 3.23pm. All along the route, crowds had gathered to witness the solemn train pass by. The loco men remarked at how emotional it was to see many old uniformed soldiers standing crisply to attention and saluting. Just along the way, 34051 passes an up service, hauled by fellow Battle of Britain class Tangmere. Further along still, 28 DEMU trundles along as our train continues on its way. Instructions had been issued to run at 20 miles per hour through Oxford Station in order that all the bells being tolled in the City of Spires might be heard by those travelling in the funeral train. On arrival at Hanborough Station, the funeral party made its way by road to St Martin's Church in Bladden, where Churchill was laid to rest alongside his family. The parish of St Martin's includes Blenheim Palace, the family seat of the Dukes of Marlborough. 34051 then returned to Nine Elms Depot light engine via Oxford for turning. Once the private funeral arrangements had been completed, the funeral party rejoined the train at 1620, where it returned to London Paddington, this time hauled by D1015 Western Champion diesel locomotive. Here, my D1023 Western Fusilier stands in. So there ends an era and a historic train. 
34051 in a baggage car has been preserved and can be found at the National Rail Museum in York. I hope you enjoyed this special look at a very special train from our history.